Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the wide ratio of soil sample. That how we can find the wide ratio of soil sample and what is wide ratio of the soil. So I will explain this with the help of an example and also with the help of the phase diagram of soil. So what is phase diagram of soil? Phase diagram of soil sample. So phase diagram of soil sample basically contains three main components. Main components. One is air, one is water, and one is solids. So there are three basic components of the phase diagram of soil. One is air, one is water, and one is solids. So the combination of these three components makes the soil sample. So the volume of air is usually represented by VA, the volume of water is represented by VW, and the volume of solids is represented by v, Vs. And the total volume of the soil sample is represented by V. Similarly, the weight of air is represented by WA, the weight of water is WW, and the weight of solids is Ws. So now how we can define the wide ratio of the soil sample from the phase diagram of the soil. So the wide ratio is basically represented by small e and it is equal to the, the volume of whites dividing by the volume of solids. Now what is volume of whites? This will, this factor, volume of whites volume of whites is basically the combination of the volume of whites represented by vv it is basically combination of the volume of air and volume of water the combination of these two is known as the volume of whites so this two volume the volume of air and volume of water is known as the volume of the whites so here we can say the white ratio e is equal to the volume of whites so volume of whites is VV dividing by volume of solids. So volume of solids is Vs. Here the volume of solids is Vs. So this is known as the wide ratio of the soil sample from the phase diagram. Now for example, we know that the volume of whites, the combination of volume of air and volume of water, for example, this is known to us that the volume is equal to the 10 cubic meter. The volume of air in water is 10 cubic meter and the volume of solids for example is Vs is equal to the 20. So this is 20 cubic meter the volume of solids. So what will be the wide ratio? Wide ratio will be equal to the volume of whites which is 10 cubic meter dividing by volume of solids which is 20 cubic meter. So it will become, if we divide this value, cubic, cubic meter will be cancelled, so it will become 0 0.5. So the wide ratio does not have any units, so it is unitless. So wide ratio of the soil sample is 0 0.5. In this way, you can find the wide ratio of the soil sample by knowing the volume of the whites, basically the volume of air in water, and dividing this ratio, this value by the volume of the solids, which is the volume of solids here. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.